Hi guys, welcome to Daddy and the Don. Today we're going to be looking at the mid-table. Yes, you heard it right, that's a mid-table battle between Leicester and Brentford. And here to give his opinions on the game is Bees fan, as always, it's Rhys. Take it away, Rhys. Now, nothing is for certain in the Premier League, but had Brentford lost either of their last two games, I'd have little to no confidence going into this tough away fixture against Leicester. Leicester are typically a good side, but were simply outclassed last time out against Arsenal, and for them, they will be hoping to bounce back from that disappointment by picking up a win in their European affair against who I think they're playing, which is Wren. I'm not too sure. I know they had a pretty easy tie against Randers and sort of romped home against them, but this should serve as a tougher test, but they should still get past Wren, if it is them, and then they will presumably come into that game a little tired but with confidence against us um as far as i'm aware jamie vardy is back because i'm fairly certain in the game he came back on he scored i'm not too sure why he wasn't playing against arsenal or at least i don't remember him playing against arsenal um but you know to have someone like that playing against us is a danger he's a very quick um Terrier-like player, you know. You give him an inch and he's gone five miles, not even a mile. Um, our defenders aren't the fastest apart from Rico. Um, but he's a very smart, savvy player, you know. Um, we we were lucky, in a sense, against Norwich when, we've, when Pinnock made the poor pass. Um, and nothing came from it. And then, obviously, on Saturday... Rico's played the ball back to Pinnock. Pinnock's not expecting it. And Cornet's almost scored. If that's a Vardy, that's going in. And that's not that's not to discredit Cornet. That's just the class that Jamie Vardy has. Um, you know, it's it, it will be tough. Um, you know, but that's not to take away the, the talent of players like Barnes, Madison, Tielemans who scored that beauty of a goal against us. Um, and for me, he was the man of the match. He bossed the game from the first minute to the last. Everything sort of ran through him in a sense. He was the calming presence. Um, you know, and of course, then you've got Schmeichel in goal, who, you know, even with the penalty, anything that came his way, he snapped up, he controlled it, he dealt with it. He was almost like he was like the Sakilla lot of that game, <laughs> um, but I think for me, I f I feel Leicester are a well drilled side. You know, Rogers got them playing a very solid style of play, um, and it's just it it's it's for Brentford to disrupt Leicester, not for Leicester to open us up. If that makes sense. Now with Brentford, it it looked like it was going to be a long, long run in. Um, given the result, the performance, the events of that match against Newcastle, you know, Joshua Silva's come back. We're finally going. Oh, we've got a full strength squad, and bang, he's gone. Um, but we've, you know, with the Silva going, it's allowed us to play it and just try and go for other things and um we've you know ericsson has stepped up it his influence on us is massive um you know he controlled the game against norwich he got the assist against burnley he was the final th he was the key pass to ivan who then ran into the box and was brought down you can't underplay a talent like ericsson and i don't really know why we've done it but i'm happy we have um, you know, Norwich, we were very, very good. Um, I'd been saying for a long time that we need, we need to dominate someone, not necessarily from minute, from start to finish, but just, we need to have it known that we're, we're winning this game. We deserve to win this game. And it's up to you to try and stop us scoring however many we want. And, you know, it was three, and then it was four, and then it got ruled out for offside. But when we hit the fourth, I was like, this is what I've wanted. This is what I've wanted from us. This is what I know we can do on our day. You know, it was it was a good it was a good day for Brentford as a as a team. 
Um, and then obviously the Burnley game was very scrappy. Um, it was it was an entertainingly dull nil nil up until about the 85th minute when Ericsson whips the ball in, goes onto Tony's head, and you're just like, no way, no way this is happening. There's no way that could happen, but it did. And finally, you know, the cogs are turning, things are clicking into place, and it's, you know, not to sound all cliche, but it, there's no better time that, for that to happen than with the running, to suddenly find your feet, find your form again, go back to that same team that people and teams in the championship feared and didn't want to play against. You know, if we can have that kind of form and performance in the Premier League, it's... I'm not saying we're going to turn into the next Man City, but we'll be a formidable force for sure. Um, you know, five goals in two games for Brentford and Ivan Tony. Um, but I think in general, with switching to a back four, we just look more confident in ourselves. You know, we're not we're not constantly playing with our head looking over our shoulder, which I feel like we have been with the 3-5-2. So, yeah, it, it will, it will definitely, um, all add up to a very interesting game. Um, in the home, in the home game for Brentford, it was very tight, lacking in quality, a little bit scrappy almost. Um, with a Tielemans got with a Tielemans wonder strike and a James Madison goal from a breakaway, either side of an Ivan Tony penalty. It it was deservedly Leicester's win, but it wasn't necessarily a runaway win. Um, I think it'll be the same again. I think it will be tight, but it won't be tight due to a lack of quality. I think it'll be quite an open game, um, because. Le- Leicester, in terms of the league, haven't got haven't got much to really fight for. Their main focus is Europe, so it's kind of a for me. I feel like it's more of a run around game for them. Um, whereas for us, we've obviously looking at that points total, trying to find a way to achieve safety. Um, but we're also playing quite positive now, so it could turn into a basketball game where we have a chance, they have a chance, we have a chance. I could go the complete opposite way, but I feel like it will be more like a basketball game. Um, you know, it it could fall down to a matter of who takes the chances wins. And as obvious as that sounds, you know, until the 84th minute, it looked like there wasn't going to be a winner against Burnley. And then suddenly, Brentford are in the lead. So, in terms of a scoreline... I'd happily take a draw as it is a tough place to get anything from but at the same time I I have a feeling that Leicester will overall have enough to to win um, I think I'll, again it would be a 2-1 um, not too sure how the goals will go in or what in what order and stuff but I just feel like we'll 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 play a lot better than we did the first time we played them. I just think the the quality of the players they have will be the reason we don't get the victory. <laughs>